Hello everyone, I am here with Laura who is doing a workshop at Awaken the Goddess Festival on the 31st of October. Laura, would you mind introducing yourself and telling us a little bit about what you do? Yes, of course. Hi, Samina. Hello everyone, um, I'm Laura and I um, am a dance healer. I run Healing Goddess Dance Workshops working with um, the chakras and the goddesses and um, everything is themed around helping you to uh, unblock negative emotions or reach a, a state of ecstatic pleasure and joy there's there's different themes for each workshop but i use dance and music to to help bring um, subconscious emotions to the the forefront and to and to help to help my my dancers to to to, to heal via music and and conscious movement that sounds wonderful so tell us a little bit about the workshop that you're going to be doing at the festival then so uh, I have chosen my my favorite chakra and goddess to work with for your workshop for the um the goddess festival so I'm going to be working with the the sacral chakra and the goddess Aphrodite and I also um I really love helping women reclaim their sense of sensuality and pleasure and joy and sexuality. So by using, um, working with the sacral chakra and the goddess Aphrodite, um, they are the, the ultimate sort of double act to help women to achieve um, accessing those, those feelings of sensuality and pleasure, which are, are very important to me. Oh, so I muted that because the birds were singing. <laughs> um, <laughs> but don't worry, it was just myself that was muted. I was saying to Laura just before we started the video that I've got a bird here who always starts singing when I'm talking to someone and he should be quiet. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Laura, I just I love the, the, the way you hold space in a workshop. I mean, I, I've been to a couple of Laura's um, healing dance workshops and they were just really amazing. So I'm so looking forward to her sharing this with you at the festival. Like um, there's just something magical about. Uh, oh, you know what? You'll just have to come and see. <laughs> it's just it's such a beautiful experience. Thank you. Serena. So, Laura. Can you can you tell me why how you got into this like why healing dance? So um, I I trained as a dancer many years ago. Uh, I trained in classical ballet, but also many other techniques: contemporary, flamenco, modern, um, pretty much every technique and discipline I could either every class I go to teach myself um, because I love learning about different types of movement um, and over the years I have I've had many jobs mostly in within fashion and beauty um, I've worked as a stylist and, and a coach um, but I think once you are well, one is born a dance, I believe. Once you have that training within dance, it stays with you forever. And even if you don't necessarily make it your career or you know you don't go on to perform. In fact, I, I have performed. I, um, if you're interested, I, uh, I have performed for a couple of years as a burlesque performer. Um, and actually I, I think my whole life is a performance in a way I, I love <laughs> I think I think life should be a show and a performance but it just suddenly occurred to me that working as a, a coach for women and helping them to access their femininity and their sense of pleasure and sensuality it just suddenly dawned on me that when I wanted to heal myself I always use dance and movement and and music whenever I'm feeling depressed 
tired, sad, angry, whenever, basically, there is, there's always a time for dancing. And it just suddenly became very apparent that that was my most powerful tool to use um, in a way of healing others. In that, and it is a proven fact, I've studied dance movement psychotherapy. It is a proven fact that using dance and movement um, can absolutely, it's very powerful in altering the state, the mental state of patients who suffer from depression and stress as well as physical illnesses um, it increases dopamine uh, it decreases cortisol which um, is a high stress level hormone so it's that it is a really really powerful way to um, help with bringing negative emotions that were maybe buried subconsciously to the forefront and then you can you can deal with that from there and, and move on it's it's a really cleansing really cleansing practice um, and I use mostly I will use a guided uh, gently guided intuitive dance so people that attend my workshops don't have to be trained dancers they don't learn set choreography they just move to the music in a way that their body and their heart and their soul tells them to move so uh, no matter whether the movement is small or really big and expansive they are still um they're still using the movement and the music to 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 rid themselves of negative emotion and to anchor um anchor a way of healing themselves basically through the movement but i i do sometimes uh, gently guide in the way that i will give um some imagery and some um visualizations whereby they can they can imagine themselves floating through clouds or in a a dark glittery temple depends on the theme and the music and and the emotion that i want to help them bring about I like what you say about um, the intuitive movement side of things, because sometimes when people see a dance, a dance workshop, they, there's that self-consciousness that comes up about how you move in front of other people, maybe about your mm. body and stuff like that. I feel very self-conscious about dancing in front of other people. I never do. Um, but it, it it is about the movement it's about connecting to your body and like that embodiment isn't it you know um, absolutely absolutely yeah. Be yes because it's one thing to talk through emotions but if you are not actually moving those negative emotions through your body then i i just feel that yes as you say this is a more powerful way of embodying yeah. healing you can literally sometimes feel those stuck stagnant negative feelings coming out of your body by moving them out so it is very powerful yes. yeah i mean as you're talking there it really makes me feel like it's such a holistic it's almost like a holistic form of therapy so if you come to the dance and to the movement with the intention in mind to work through something it, you would work through it in a much stronger way than you would if you were just sitting there talking to someone or just sitting there writing about something. Because mm. oh, your body will naturally move. It will show signs. Let's say you are um, touching on a, a specific subject that something that has hurt you in the past, uh, something you know a feeling of anger or resentment that you are feeling at that point if you are dancing and moving with intention the movement that you make uh, as you're focusing on those emotions it you as i said yes you can literally feel it emanate through your body so that you can push it away and rid yourself of those emotions but likewise you could also bring in feelings beautiful uh, positive feelings like when we worked with the the heart chakra at my last workshop you know you want to if you want to bring about more welcoming 
in love, receiving of love, which, which some people find it hard to receive. Um, they might be all about the giving, but not actually able to receive, let's say. And with that in mind, when we're working with the heart chakra and inviting in love and opening ourselves up to new opportunities and new friendships and relationships, you can just as well as, as you rid yourselves of negative emotion, you can also bring in the, the beautiful and the positive whilst mm. you move and dance. Yeah, you know, thank you so much because you've actually really made me think differently just in this few minutes that we've been speaking about dance and movement as as a tool. And um, it's just that the intention, if you, I think just knowing this and then coming to your next workshop would cha change, it is going to change my experience of feeling it and, and how... I, I guess some people feel things through the body and others feel things through the mind. And I have a combination of, of those two things, depending on the situation. So just uh, uh, knowing that in my mind is going to change the way I feel in my body in the next, the, the yes. next session. Do you know, does think, that make sense? I think a lot of people are used to healing themselves or uh, the first thing they'll, they'll go to when they feel the need for healing or therapy is cognitive behavioral therapy by you know talking things through um but it's it, i think it's still something that needs um needs to be put out there more the the power of somatic healing healing via the body and i think you know also yoga will do it but only if you go with that intention so a lot of people will use yoga you know, as a nice class, do some gentle stretching, maybe get a bit more flexible as a sociable thing, you know, to meet, to go to with their girlfriends. But, you know, there's a lot of very sacred healing uh, woven throughout the, the disciplines of, of yoga. And a lot of people don't actually necessarily realize that when they are, when they are, attending yoga so yes i think probably it is worth maybe putting it out there more that how powerful um somatic healing and, and embodying through movement can be if you if you are using intention i think moving with intention yeah. to heal while you were speaking there it made me i i kind of have this vision of our foremothers understanding this wisdom like having an innate understanding of uh, of the body and using the body to to you know not sitting there endlessly for hours talking through things yes, yes. you have that as a tool but also you know things like massage and conscious yes. movement and conscious mm. connection and stuff like that like I, I I just envisage that they would have seen that and worked through so much stuff that they go through yes with using those things you know and it's just it almost makes me feel like you know over the centuries over the years because of patriarchy because of the the fact that our bodies were used against us uh, as you know punished for certain things and acting certain ways that we had that disconnect which is ancestral Absolutely. now yes and it's yes. changing so that we're we're, it, tr we're healing it, that and it's people it like you i think who yes who, who would who would do and it it's really us. beautiful to be able to connect mind with body again mm. yes as you say uh people in general both men and women danced you know from the beginning of time they would dance in ritual dance in prayer in celebration in mourning it is really it's just throughout the ages whereby yes you're right about the patriarchy possibly moving in there and and clamping down on these these dance traditions possibly because they thought it was indecent or you know it's, uh, not appropriate um but but yes it it was there from early on and and it's it's a really lovely thing to be trying to bring it out of the uh the uh, 
the deep vein of history back to uh, it's it's beautiful. It's a really lovely way, I think, to yeah. to to live to uh, as you say to to reconnect to the body. I'm I'm all about getting out of the head and the mind, and I really think that as great as cognitive NLP therapies are, uh, and it really is brilliant. Um, it's just really beautiful to be able to move deeper into the body and to and to realize that you need to listen to your body so after moving consciously and working with certain emotions to listen to your body to notice how it's feeling notice where the pains are notice if anything has loosened or unburdened, lightened itself. Um, yes, for me, it's, it's just a beautiful way of, of, of working and, and living. I think, I think it's such a joyful way to, yeah, it's great exercise, of course, um, gets the heart rate going. So that's fantastic. It's definitely a benefit. Um, Yes, I love it, and I yeah, I will <laughs> always dance even when sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how wonderful, Laura! Yeah. Thank you so much for taking oh, the time. Oh, my to pleasure. Today. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the thirty first. Um, yeah, Very thank exciting. you. Thank you so much, Samina. I can't wait to dance with you all. <laughs> <laughs>